through the dark, through the door, you were no one's been before, but it feels like home. They can say, they can say it all sounds crazy. They can say, they can say I've lost the mind. I don't care, I don't care, so call me crazy. We can live in a world that we design. Cause every night I lie in bed, the brightest colors fill my head. A million dreams are keeping me awake. I think of what the world could be, a vision of There's a house we can build, every room inside is filled with things from far away. Special things I compile, each one there to make you smile on a rainy day. They can say, they can say it all sounds crazy. They can say, they can say we've lost our minds. I don't care, I don't care if they call us crazy. Run away to a world that we design. Every night I lie in bed, the brightest colors fill my head. A million dreams keeping me awake. I think of what the world could be, a vision of the one I see. A million dreams is all it's gonna take. A million dreams for the world we're gonna make. However big, however small, let me be part of it all. Share your dreams with me. You may be right, you may be wrong, to say that you're bringing me along to the world you see, to the world I close my eyes to see. I close my eyes to see. Every night I lie in bed. The brightest colors fill my head. A million dreams are keeping me A million dreams, a million dreams. I think of what the world could be. A vision of the one I see. A million dreams is all that's gonna take. A million dreams for the world we're gonna make. The world we're gonna make. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to this session of how to get your child to speak up and shine. Can you hear me clearly? Hello. If you can hear me clearly, can you? Please put in the comment button below. Press yes. Test mic, test mic. Test mic. All right. Okay. Okay, welcome to this session of how to get your child to speak up and shine. All right, so if you are in there, put in the comment box below, where are you from? Whether you are from Kepong, PJ, Ipoh, Penang, Kuantan, 
Ceras, Kajang, Sri Petaling, Klang, Rawang, can you put in the comment box there? Welcome, welcome. Good evening, everyone. Okay, I can see over here in the comment box. Hi there, Kim. Hi there, Tracy. Hi there, Cherry. Thank you so much. So today's session will be covering on how to get your child to speak up and shine. There'll be few few topics I'll be covering. One, which is the landscape of the speaking right now. Number two, the four quadrants. So from the four quadrants, you will be able to identify which quadrant your child is in. Now, why is that important? From there, you will know what to do next to get, get them to speak up. All right, and also the the critical success factor. All right, critical success factor for your child to speak up. All right, so welcome, welcome, welcome. Good evening, everyone. My name is Johan from Johan Speaking Academy. Today we'll be bringing to you a topic called how to get your child to speak up and shine. All right, so let's get started. Just a moment. Right, so before we start, I would really appreciate if you could share this Facebook Live out because this will really benefit a lot of children. All right, please help us to share this post out. Thank you, thank you. So could you see the slides right now? If yes, could you type in the comment box there? Yes, can see if you can see this slide right now, put in in the comment box there. Put in yes. Okay, thank you, thank you. So how to get your child to speak up and shine, even, all right, even if your child is a beginner and has never spoken on stage before. That means they are starting from zero, never ever spoken on stage before, and they are truly a beginner. So this doesn't matter if your child is four years old, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, or even for that matter, even for adults, right? This is even applicable for adults. So how to get your child to speak up and shine, even if your child is a beginner and has never spoken on stage before. All right, now, is confidence important? Ladies and gentlemen, parents over there, is confidence important? If yes, could you type in the comment box there? is it important right yes is it important so you could see the picture over there that was me speaking in a digital marketing expo i think somewhere in 2012 2013 prior to that i have never spoken on such a large stage before right this is about 140 packs so during that presentation I did several mistakes. I will let you all know later what are the mistakes. But prior to that, I don't have stage experience, right? So, and confidence can really help you to go far in life. Okay. So now, who are we, right? Who are we? Just a quick introduction. We started Johan Speaking Academy in 2014 together with my co-founder, Cherry. And our signature program is the Kids Public Speaking Program. Now, we have taught more than 3,000 over kids to speak on stage, plus in front of a video camera. If you could see over here, our HQ is located at Taman Tun Dr. Ismail. You can see over there, that is our office. I really miss the office right now because we have not been inside there for the past one month due to the MCO. And then we have 10 licensed partners across Klang Valley and also the furthest is in Ipoh. If you could see over here, this is a shopping mall at Aeon where our students from Ipoh spoke at Aeon, I think it's Aeon Station 18, if I'm not mistaken, right? Stage, yeah, Aeon Station 18. Now, licensed partners means we have partners across Klang Valley who can actually run our program. 
who is using the Johan Speaking Academy module for kids public speaking. They are from Bangsa, Kota Kemuni, Pucho, Monkiara, Shah Alam, Pandan Indah, uh, Sri Kembangan, right? So Ipoh and then Cheras. So there are about 10 partners overall. Okay, so this is our uh, speak online recently due to the MCO. We have conducted our uh, classes online. I think a lot of education centers are shifting, right? Shifting from offline to online. Not only education, I think a lot of business right now are pivoting. But we have been doing this online program since last year, 2019. We started somewhere in August. We are actually experimenting at that moment to do online but i think this mco has forced upon a lot of education companies to move more towards online all right thank you zeline thank you tracy thank you thank you so how has the mco been for you all right it's exactly 28 days right now i think 29 29 days and besides that, for myself, we could see here is a Maxis conference at G Hotel. I spoke at large conferences. I followed Maxis to a nationwide roadshow at Sabah, Sarawak, Ipoh, Johor, and then uh, Klang Valley. I also represented Malaysia to the World Championship of Public Speaking held in Las Vegas in 2015. And of course, myself and Cherry, we have been in uh, media like BFM, Bernama, the Star, China Press, Channel W, just to name a few. And of course, we have uh, some numerous awards. Okay, so now the first topic right now is the landscape, right? I need some response to you all, though I'm speaking right in front of the web camera, but I know behind me is you all over here. Thank you so much, I would say, for tuning in today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, so the landscape. Okay, problem statements. Huh? In 2015, Job Street, right, statistic by Job Street said that 60% of employers reject candidates due to poor communication skills. They can't express themselves. This is from Focus Malaysia, April 1st to April 7th, that week that Focus Malaysia in 2017. And then statement number two, Malaysian students are unable and unwilling to speak up. All right, this is from nst.com.my in August 2017. All right, if you feel that this is a big problem for Malaysia, can you press in the comment box below, press number one, All right? Type in number one for me if you agree to that this problem statement is very critical to Malaysia's progress, right? Poor communication skills. If you agree, kindly press one. Right. Press one. Thank you so much for those who have just joined in. Thank you so much. My name is Johan from Johan Speaking Academy. Our signature program is Kids Public Speaking. We have been operating since 2014. And today's topic is how to get your child to speak up and shine, even if they are a beginner, right? And have never spoken on stage before. So the first area we're going to cover is the landscape, which is this one right now, problem set statement. In 2015, Job Street said that 60% of employers reject candidates due to poor communication skills. They can't express themselves. And Malaysian students are unable and unwilling to speak up. So if you agree to this, kindly press in the comment box below, number one. Okay, right now, even in the corporate world, companies are asking for video resume. All right, video resume. Have you heard before of video resume? If you have heard before of video resume, if you have heard before, press number two in the comment box. If not, you have never heard before what is this video resume kindly put in number three right if you have heard before video resume press number two 
if you have if you have not heard before of video resume kindly click number three if you have heard before video resume put number two if you have not heard before of video resume put number three in the comment box okay tracy said number two you have heard before if you have heard before put number two if you have not heard before put number three okay so what is video resume video resume right now companies are actually you see last time there are days of cover letter all right so a cover letter you put in together with your results right so cover letter and results that is a flaw in the system because cover letter people can actually duplicate or just copy straight from google right and then when you copy straight and you submit to the company and they say wow your video resume your cover letter is so cool so when they ask the interviewee to come over for an interview and then they find out that ah, that interviewee cannot speak so with that it's actually a waste of time so instead of the cover letter and your result the cover letter is now taken off you have to put a video resume of yourself speaking in front of a video camera example my name is johan i'm a graduate from uc putra malaysia and my degree is what so you have to make it very creative so when they see that video resume if it is good then they will ask you for an interview so right now speaking in front of a video camera is very very crucial right it's very very crucial if you agree even right now if you see during the mco a lot of people are watching facebook live speaking in front of a video camera is very important type in number five right type in number five Okay, if you agree that speaking in front of video camera is really important, type in number five at the comment box. So for Zerlin, you said that you have not heard before video resume. So right now, there are a lot of companies are asking for video resume, right? So no more the days of cover letter. It is slowly phasing out. So video resume is speaking in front of a video camera instead of that cover letter. So if they see, oh, this video is really creative or innovative then they will ask you for that interview so you see with that you cannot actually outsource you know your your video you're speaking in front of a video camera you cannot outsource that oh let my my brother be the one that speak for me or my sister do it for me i mean they can be the one that edit the video but speaking in front of that video camera has to be yourself okay so video resume now the landscape has changed Okay, even for the Kementerian Pendidikan Malaysia, the latest is five new activities where they focus on. All right, number one, if you can see, is quiz, right? Quizzes, they start to use quizzes. Number two, permainan, okay, gamification. Number three, mind pranan, which is role play. Number four, bercerita, which is storytelling. And then number five, Project Muda. Right, so now they are focusing a lot of role playing, be able to speak Project Muda, where you need to collaborate with your friends, you need to communicate, permainan. Okay, so they are having more activities instead of exam oriented. Right. And then MCO came. MCO came, like I just now mentioned, a lot of people right now is looking at their screen more than ever. So speaking on stage and also speaking online has become really, really crucial. Here you see Facebook Live, and you can see this page is Speak FM. We are also moving quite, quite uh, intense, which is my co-founder, Cherry. We are doing live interview with mompreneurs every day, except for today. So we have been doing for the past two weeks. 
interviewing mompreneur. So in the future, coming even after MCO, there'll be a lot of people shifting from offline to online. Okay, so speak FM, right? Speak on stage. If you can see over on the left hand side is our students at our Tamantun Center. And then on the right hand side, we do a lot of events outdoor. This was at Sunday Velocity Mall, right? Sunday Velocity Mall for our students' graduation, about 170 over students over two days right over two days saturday and sunday last year in november it was really really intense right but it was truly fun because if the kids can bring their speaking experience on stage outdoor this will really propel their learning curve faster okay i can see so if you are right here right now thank you so much for tuning in i really appreciate your time thank you so much for coming in and then speaking in front of video camera now talking about speak online like i say plus the video resume speaking in front of video camera though is the fundamentals of speaking is the same but but speaking in front of video camera Maybe I just put it in another way. A very good speaker on stage, all right, a public speaker, doesn't mean he or she can speak very well in front of a video camera. And even vice versa, you can speak very well in front of a video camera, example, a newsreader. Doesn't mean you can go on stage and become a, a powerful and dynamic speaker. But of course, you can be both, right? You can be both. That is why now it's not only speaking on stage, as in public speaking, you also have to be able to speak online. You can see over here, the green screen is our student doing our dream job program. And he's speaking in front of a video camera. And this boy over here, this was at Lost World of Tambun Epo. Lost World of Tambun Epo as a brand ambassador, our 10 week program, speaking in front of a video camera. And then you can see down here, one boy, one girl. We were actually experimenting on uh, being a podcaster, right? Podcaster. It was really fun. So now that all speaking in front of a video camera. Okay. If you are here, can you press in the comment box there? Put in hi, hi, so that I know you all are watching over here. Click hi. I can see uh, Krista is over here, Tracy Norhayati. Thank you. And again, we are running online classes every week. Okay, now, why public speaking? The number one skill, Warren Buffett says, will raise your value by 50%. All right, 50%. This is in January 2017. I'm just quoting him. I'm just quoting him. So Warren Buffett is one of the top five richest men in the world. And he said that the one skill that will raise your value by 50%, which is the one skill is public speaking. All right. So this is from one of the top five richest men in the world. And then number two, Inc.com. This is also a very famous website. It says that public speaking is no longer a soft skill. It is your key to success in any field. Right? It is no more a soft skill. We normally say, oh, this is hard skills. Hard skills are all those degree which you have like accountancy, legal, and then your engineering, right? Soft skills are like teamwork, collaboration, critical thinking, public speaking. So it is now no more called a soft skill. People are actually terming it essential skill, right? Essential skill, not essential skill. So LinkedIn said that persuasion was one of the top skills most worth learning in 2019. Strengthening a soft skill is one of the best investments you can make in your career as they never go out of style, All right? They said, let's talk about soft skill like storytelling. Soft, 
be shot back. If an entrepreneur can't tell a convincing story, I am not investing. So you call it soft, we call it fundamental, right? Fundamental. So when I was a kid, I actually used to learn swimming over here, right? Very, very good. And then uh, football, I represented my school as a football player. Okay, I have to admit, I'm just a substitute, but I'm also a school player, right? I'm just a substitute. And then art, and then also I learned Kung Fu, and I played the piano. So these are five skills. Can you type in the comment box? Type in the comment box. What have, I mean, what are the skills you learned when you were a child, all right? Just to do a short survey, okay? Mine was swimming, football, art, kung fu, and also piano. So for yourself, can you put into the comment box what are the skills you actually learned when you were a child? All right, so just a quick survey. I learned swimming, football, art, kung fu, and also piano. So for yourself, put in the comment box, just want to do a quick survey. Oh, all right, you need also piano, okay. But then I was like, hmm? Okay, these skills are really great, right? for stamina, for your creativity, for teamwork like football. And then, but one thing was missing, which is a skill that mostly we use in the office or even as an entrepreneur or business owner, which is speaking skill. But what, why, why at school, when we were young, there's no one teaching public speaking? Think about it for a moment, right? So do we speak every day in the office? Example, talking to a prospect, trying to close a sales, doing a presentation to your boss or the shareholder. And if you're a business owner, maybe you are pitching for a project or a funding. So if this skill is so crucial, why is it missing in the education system? Just think for that at the moment. So there was a gap in this. That's also one of the reasons why we started this program. Okay. Well, Kim, I can see Kim over here. Badminton, piano, swimming, basketball, choir. <laughs> okay. Cool, cool. So this was at Ewolf Mall in 2016. 100 Kids, the time was 100 kids, total about 400 packs, including family members. Like I say, we do this kind of event almost every two to three months once because we believe to propel the kids faster in their learning curve, we bring them really out there, public, public speaking at shopping malls, theme parks. For Krista, netball, badminton, and running. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, so now you may need a pen or a paper right now to scribble some notes, okay, which is the four quadrants, the four quadrant. Okay, take a pen with you or a pencil and also a notepad where you can scribble some notes. okay so now there are two lines over here one is the red one okay you just draw the red one the line and then of course the green line across horizontal okay the red line is called the experience line means means stage time all right kids experience right the stage time you draw draw the red line and then on the green line is their braveness, right? Braveness. So on the left, you can see 
if the kiss is towards the far left, you put in a shy there, SHY shy. I actually don't use this word at all in my office, never ever, but this is just for this page. Okay, put in shy. And at the end, on the right hand side of this green line, which is brave. Okay, you put there, brave. And then for stage time, the below bottom is least, right? Least experience. That means they are experienced on stage. And then the high one is lots of experience. Okay. Those who have not shared this post, kindly share to your post right now because this will really help you or your friends or parents out there to identify which quadrant is their child in and then what you need to do if you are in each quadrant okay if you want yeah please help to share thank you okay done if yes you have drawn the four lines put in number five at the comment box there press number five press number five so that i know you all are ready Put in number five. Number five, yes, number five. I'm looking at two screen right now. Okay. Okay, just draw the green line from the left is shy and to the right is brave. That is the braveness line and then the red line it's called the experience of stage time, the least experience, which is the bottom, and top is lots. Okay. So now the first quadrant. Okay. First quadrant is on the far left end, which is called the please start now quadrant. Right? Can you write it in? Please start now quadrant. That means this child has the least experience, maybe zero experience, never done public speaking before. And it is, this is, I mean, zero experience, right? Zero experience and they are really shy. Right? So this is on the far left corner, usually for beginner. Right? So that is the please start now quadrant. So sometimes when we have inquiry coming in, parents say, ah, uh, of course, calling my co-founder, Cherry, uh, my, my son have never spoken on stage before, really, really no experience. This is their first time. So how, uh, so how? Uh? So always, if say so how, it's actually, please start now. So that is the quadrant they belong to. Totally brand new, a beginner, have not done public speaking, or really shine so that is the please start now quadrant if you are listening in thank you so much i'm johan here from johan speaking academy and our signature program is kids public speaking okay so share with me if your child is in this quadrant Put in the comment box number three, all right? Number three. Don't, don't, doesn't matter. We are not judging anyone, all right? So if your child is inside this please start now quadrant, put in number three in the comment box so that at least I know. And even for this, this four quadrant does not apply only to children, all right? Or kids for that matter. Even for adults like yourself, you can actually identify which quadrant are you in okay so this is a please start now quadrant now let's move on the next one try before all right on top there is try before okay just write down there try before that means if you are inside this quadrant you may have have stage experience maybe two times three times but you're still shy okay you're still shy 
okay, there are students, my students have been following me for two years, three years, some of them, right? Even in the first half a year, they have two or three stage appearance before, but they are actually still shy, okay? Because they are inside this quadrant over here. So this is the try before quadrant. Okay, if you have a child inside this try before quadrant, you put in in the comment box number four. Okay, just now, please start now was number three. Try before, put in number four. Or even for yourself, for that matter, if I ask you right now, have you done public speaking before when you were a child? I say, oh yeah, yeah, Johan, yes, yes. I've done before when I'm 12 and 15. Okay, right now, example, you are 30 years old. And I ask you, let's go on stage to give a presentation for 10 minutes in front of 200 packs. Uh, then you say, oh yeah, um, uh, no, no. So see, so, so this is actually inside that quadrant. Try before. Okay. Cool. Thank you so much. Then the next quadrant is move it up. All right. Move it up. Okay, move it up. This one, the kids, when they come in, or maybe your child for the matter, actually, they are really brave, you know. No problem, okay, you can, okay, okay. Example, his name is, just say Andrew. Okay, Andrew, come on stage to speak. No problem, whenever you call him, ah, sure, no problem, straight away he'll come on stage. Straight away he'll come on stage to speak because He's over here on the right hand side. He's actually really brave. Right? No problem. Just that they are looking for that stage opportunity or stage appearance. Now, right now in school, in school, very fair, all right? Very fair. Correct me if I'm wrong, all right? Very fair. Why? Because normally the teacher, right? The teacher or the headmaster will choose only five people to speak schools all right five number one is the ketua pengawas right ketua pengawas number two the best student and then three four five are the debaters so always will be these five so congratulations if your child is inside these five but if not others really have a hard time or an opportunity to go on stage to speak now i can't blame teacher it's because for these five people, they do not need to spend a lot of time to train them anymore because teachers, you know, they have teaching to do, marking, and then examination, preparing questions, so many other things to do. So normally, they will just pick these five. So if your child is not inside these five, then they don't have the opportunity. But speaking is not a problem. So for this move it up category, the kids are actually brave, but they are looking or waiting for opportunity to speak. Okay. And then, okay, sorry. And then the next one is called the power fire, right? Power fire means they have a lot of stage experience to them going up on stage, no problem at all, right? Power fire. Okay, so yeah, and whenever when you call them, they want to raise their hand. Okay, I want to be the person to speak. Okay, you got opportunity, got storytelling contest, you want to go, yes, yes, me, me. So that is the power fire category. Okay, so type in the comment box. If your child is, please start now, put in the comment number three. If they are in a try before category, number four. If they are move it up, number five. And if they are power fire, number six. All right. Okay, don't say for your child. Let's say for yourself, all right? For yourself. Now, you put in for yourself, which category are you in? All right, if you're number, please start now, you're number three. If you have tried before, number four. If you are moving up, number five. And if you're power fire, put number six, all right? Let's do a quick survey in terms of public speaking, all right? Speaking in front of a large audience, let's say 50 packs, 80 packs, 100 packs. Okay. So are you in the please start now, try before, move it up, or power, fire? Let's see. We are not judging people over here, all right? So everyone have different strengths and weaknesses. This is just a quick survey. 
So you are in which one? Please start now, try before, move it up or power fire. Okay, so is that just four? There's one more over here, which is star, all right? So we call this the star towards the right and at the top there, we call them the star, okay? So if for kids, what does it mean to be a star? Means for that kid, they can actually craft their own speech. They can write speeches for five minutes, seven minutes, 10 minutes not easy to craft a speech from an empty piece of paper if they can craft speech they can do impromptu speeches then we categorize that as a star speaker all right okay so please start now try before move it up and power fire and in the next 10 to 15 minutes i will tell you and share with you the approach if each child is in this squadron what is the approach to get them to speak up and shine. Okay, if you are learning something over here, can you just please give me a like? All right, if you are learning something over here, press the like button. The like button. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's move on. So the success factors for these kids, there are three actually. One is the stage time. Number two, teachers, right? And of course, number three are the parents. This is the critical success factor for a kid to actually speak up is stage time, teachers, and also parents. Okay, so one is stage time. Okay, one is stage time. Before we continue, is practical real life experience important is practical real life experience important if yes can you type in the comment there yes okay, practical real life experience not theory all right a lot of things are very theoretical so if it's real life experience if it is important put in a yes at the comment there give me a yes So our students took the stage and spoke at these prominent locations. So they have spoken at Sunday Putra Mall, Sunday Lagoon, KL Convention Center, Sunday Velocity, Central Market, KL Gateway Mall, Zoo Nagara. We've been to a lot of theme parks and playland in Malaysia. Also, we collaborate with a lot of big brands to give stage opportunity for our students. Borders, Jungle Gym, Los Tambun, Mid Valley, Atria, Empire Shopping Gallery, Okay, Jaya Shopping Center, Danga Bay, IPC Shopping Center. Just to run through, these are called stage time. Right? Our previous stage time, we started this one is in 2015. We brought about 60 kids, total 230 packs. So our students became brand ambassador. We partnered together with Sanve Lagoon. Right? So kids spoke about White Lion and then Honey Bear world's smallest monkey the marmoset all right spoke about tigers so we partnered with sunday lagoon it was in year 2015 2016 it became bigger the group 100 kids with 400 over packs right and then uh lots of tambun our furthest partner in ipo thank you so much the partner in ipo about 28 kids so these are practical real life experience we are doing this practice all in the classroom and then thereafter we bring these kids our students out to the real life experience okay so like i say it became bigger 2019 just last year in april or may about 170 kids total 650 packs and then uh, i walk more this is at a shopping center these are all our students Pictures shown are all our students, all right? Speaking at Evolve Mall in Ara Damansara. And then Zoo Nagara, 170 kids, 2018. We are supposed to go to Zoo Nagara on April 19. Suppose this Sunday is our activity to Zoo Nagara, but we have to postpone until July due to this MCO, all right? We are scheduling for about. 150 kids to Zoo Nagara April 19, which is the next four days, but we could not 
do it because of this uh, restriction order. Okay, this one was at Sunday Velocity, about 700 packs total, just recently, last year, November 2019. Right, we also have one center. Our center is at the fifth floor at Sunday Velocity too. Come and visit us. Okay, so Jungle Gym, 2016, and then Little Kingdom, 2017. And then uh, KLCC Popular Book Fest for the past five years in a row, all right? Five years in a row. Every time we have about one or two hours of stage time provided by KLCC. This is a popular book fest, all right? Popular is the organizer and they organize it at KL Convention Center. Now, frankly speaking, I've worked with a lot of professionals, speakers, all right, trainers, Sometimes for them to even step foot on this KL Convention Center, they do not have this opportunity, all right? Of course, they do in uh, hotels, but at KL Convention Center, one of the largest and most prestigious convention center in Malaysia, our students have the opportunity to speak there, right? So we need to thank Popular for the collaboration for the past five years, right? So these are real life experience, stage time. Okay, and then Atrash Shopping Gallery, about 700 packs total. And then uh, Zoo Nagara, this one is in 2019. We went there 2018, 2019. 2020 is supposed to be on the 19th of April, but we have to postpone until July. All right, so the first critical success factor, critical success factor was stage time. Number two are actually teachers, right? Teachers. So these are our team over there. You can see on the right hand side the team at Sunville Lagoon. And also, these are our trainers for not only the online Dream Job module, which is currently we are doing it right now, also for all our 10 weeks program, one and a half days workshop, and also our 10 month program, right? And these are the team which we celebrated our fifth year anniversary just recently. This was in December, right? December. Okay, so why teachers are really important? If you feel teachers are really important, please give a thumbs up, thumbs up to all the teachers out there, all the trainers, all the people that actually use their heart and soul to actually guide educators out there, right? Thank you so much. If you love teachers out there, give me a like. All right, give teachers, give educators out there, like. Okay, so what are the teachers' role? Of course, to teach and to educate, right? Number two, more importantly, to evaluate, right? Teachers are people like third party, all right? The third party who actually can see your blind spot, right? So evaluate, or even if you're a business owner, you have a mentor who will teach you, or even the best players in terms of badminton, squash, tennis player, they always have a coach there to help them to see the blind spot, study the opponent's weakness, their strength and whatnot. So evaluation and give you the feedback for you to improve. So evaluation and then also to motivate you, all right? To motivate you. And then teachers will also create that environment, right? The success factor is also the environment, right? Environment is the one, of course, it has to be a positive environment, right? positive environment, that environment, that teamwork, that support is one of the critical success factor for a child to be able to stand up and speak on stage, okay? environment. And then, of course, teacher will also instill a very positive mindset to the student, all right? And then the roles, okay? Teachers play a lot of roles. Just example, like for myself, some of the students, I'm like a big brother to them. Sometimes I suddenly became the headmaster. Sometimes I'm their very cool friend. So teachers have to wear many different hats, right? At the same time, not only just to teach them for the matter, must be able to get them up on stage to speak up, okay? And then of course, the practice session, right? So when the child practice together with the teachers, then they will improve day by day and then evaluate motivate them 
then they improve further and then of course next week they come again and improve further step by step okay and also a lot of roles teacher will have to play then the next one are uh, actually parents yourself you for that matter plays a very 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 critical if not the most important role so you are the one that support your child right with love right care practice so you are the person that have to play a role and i'll always tell my parents who send their kids over teachers and the students can only do so much right the teachers every week they come for two hours or one and a half hours teachers can only do so much parents are the one who sees the child of course every day at home plays a very important role to practice with them right to motivate them and get them ready for their stage performance okay so critical success factor for the kids are stage time teachers and also for parents Okay, if you are following me so far, you are following me so far, can you give me a like over there? Yeah, just press the like button. Thank you so much for your time. Now, the next one, what can you do now, right? After identifying the four quadrants, what can you do now, right? This is the four quadrant. So, if your child or your student, right? If they're inside this, please start now quadrant. What can you do now to make them speak on stage? All right. Okay, so if you're please start now quadrant, if you're inside this, please start now quadrant. Okay, they have to take the first step. Right? They have to take the first step, meaning your child has to take the first step of course you are the person the parent over here is the one which is the motivator right so diy means you do it yourself with your child okay do it yourself sorry do let me rephrase do it yourself example your child is 10 years old 11 years old if they are they don't say, hey, mom, don't disturb me. Dad, don't disturb me. I can do it myself. Then let them do it themselves. If they are like younger, five years old, six or seven years old, then you do it together with them. All right? Do it together with them. So far, so good. Can? Okay. Or you can send them to classes. All right? You can send them to classes drama speech public speaking you can send them to classes as long as they are up on stage then speaking is the first step all right okay now what is this easy 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 start with a very easy story all right story which they are very familiar right story which they are very familiar or you can start off with just a poem okay do not sit down they have to actually stand up and do that poem or stand up to read that story out okay doesn't matter they don't need to memorize the script that poem they can actually look at the paper because if you want them to memorize at the very first time then they will they will they can't do it so you can see the paper does not matter start with a very very easy poem or start with their favorite story if that is even too difficult for them you can start off with a show and tell session that means they take a toy their favorite toy and then they show it and they describe the toy example all right so example if they are holding a uh, an iron man all right iron man toy so they can say oh this is iron man he is from avengers and his friends are incredible hulk 
Captain America and Superman. And together, they help to fight bad guys and save the world. So when they do that, standing up, right? Standing up, then they it have to start the engine, all right? So either their favorite toy, do a show and tell, or their story which they are familiar or poem okay simple simple poem okay it's like introduction poem and their favorite toy and also their favorite uh, toys or their favorite trip they can also describe that so you have to start them at home they do it themselves or you do it together with them or you can even send to classes so if you are please start now quadrant these are steps which you can take to get them to speak on stage. All right, if you are following me, can you give me a comment, number one, put in number one so that I know that you are following until this stage. All right, put in the comment number one before I go next, right? So thank you so much, Hui Wan Chan, who is watching, HRKL, who is watching. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Okay, start off very easy. Introduction or poem or their favorite something. Story which they are really familiar. Right? Show and tell. They can take up toy and describe their toy. But it has to be them standing up. Okay, standing up. Okay, Krista, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so these are some parents' testimony on our program. They are one and a half days workshop all right so a lot of them most of them are their first step all right daughter is jasmine over there fun and interactive and helps build up confidence to speak in public jasmine came home full of excitement after day one of course we are happy to see that she did very well implementing what she has learned with confidence all right so these are one and a half days workshop okay sharon over here thank you so much Satu kali hanta tiga anak. All right, so three kids together, interesting and a fun session. Most importantly, the kids enjoyed it so much and did not hesitate to attend this workshop. So this was at our holiday program last year. Holiday program. Okay, and then uh, this one, Natania, good school holiday program for kids to have some experience in public speaking skills and knowledge. Okay, now the next quadrant is try before, all right? Try before. The next quadrant is try before quadrant. So if they are try before quadrant means they have done a few stage time, maybe two times, three times, but they are still shy. So how? So how? If they are still shy, so how? Okay, let's look. Give them a script which they are familiar, all right? A script which they are really familiar. That means they have to choose the script or the story. Sometimes I, I believe that these students at school, example, teacher just throw them this script. Okay, so you have to do this script in front of the judges for the competition. Example. So the script is not from them, a teacher that wrote that script. So when they got the script, they are not familiar, they don't understand the story. So when they have to memorize it, then it becomes very stressful. It's not that they don't have stage experience, but they are shy or they don't feel like going up because the script they are not familiar with. So give them something they are familiar. If you have a lot of script, let them choose themselves. If they know, oh, this is Little Red Riding Hood. I know the story. So they know the story. They don't need to memorize every single word, right? All right, they can actually know the story, visualize, and then make up their own words also no problem. As long as if they are familiar, then they will slowly, from that shy quadrant, they will slowly become brave. Okay, so give them scripts which they are familiar. And then always encourage, all right? Instead of giving pressure, always encourage. Speaking is a process. Okay, it is a process. It might take many, many years to master the art of speaking on stage. So it is a process. Do not pressure. Once you pressure, they can actually break. 
So encouragement is the key, right? Encouragement. Okay, so far so good. Thank you so much. If you have just tuning in, thank you so much for coming over. Okay, and then create a positive environment, right? A positive environment, a supportive environment. Because you are trying to move them from the shy on the left towards brave encouragement and the environment is very critical. Okay, so this is a parent's testimony. So dear Cherry, I'm one of the privileged parents who had sent their children to your public speaking courses. My child enrolled in one of your courses several years ago. Okay, this is from Andrew. Okay, before this, my child suffered from poor self-esteem, insecurity, lacking confidence, difficult in expressing herself, and find it hard to mix with other children and often get bullied by her peers. This one was at school. Huh? So she's a different child right now, more self-assured, expressing herself more easily and articulately and also more assertive, hence stop being a bully victim. As a parent and provider, I can only afford the basic needs of three meals a day and a roof over our heads, but then it was a good investment in my child for your course. Right? Many thanks for your guidance and your public speaking course that has helped my child so much in regaining and reclaiming her well-being. So this is very, very uh, touching testimony, all right? Her daughter came in very, very quiet, okay? But the environment of the class, it was so fun and friendly in our 10-week program. And now for her to go on stage to speak, no problem, actually. Okay, so this is just one of the parents' testimony. Okay, next one, if you are at the move it up quadrant, okay, move it up quadrant, going up on stage, no problem, just that the kids have to have more stage time, all right, lacking stage time or stage appearance. So if you're at the move it up quadrant, what do you do? Okay, of course, more stage time. Now, how do you get stage time? There are actually a lot of competition, all right? Children's storytelling competition organized by shopping malls right now. Go and participate, right? Go and participate. Gain the experience, okay? If you win, good, okay? If your child wins that one, two, three, the top three places, good. But if not, doesn't matter. Clock that stage time and experience, right? So participate in storytelling competition shopping malls sure they will have right and then also even like big brands like mcdonald's they also have this storytelling competition with big prizes up for grabs so clock them for this uh, competition right so that you can progress faster or even at their school if they have pertandingan bercerita or pidato or syarahan just just participate all right take that form sign up and participate and clock more stage time because for them going up on stage no problem their braveness over this quadrant no problem just that they need more stage time right so for that go and participate more next okay now press harder on the script okay means what if you are joining competition, maybe you need to speak for three minutes, right? Three minutes. So that the script have to be a bit longer, maybe 250 to 300 words. Rough average, one minute, 100 words, okay? So press harder on the script, so make it a longer and a bit tougher, okay? Because you want to challenge them on that, right? So they will be able to, to push themselves further because a lot of times when I see a moving up quadrant is parents will say, ah, no problem. My child can, can go on stage to speak. So then they just stop, you know, and then they just stop at there. Okay, the, the parents will feel that, mm, okay, well, not a problem going up on stage. Right? So they don't go to classes and they stop. Actually, no, if you even can push and pass that threshold, um, they can even learn faster, right? So get more stage time. Stage time is the one that is very crucial. So this is uh, some parents' testimony also. John Speaking Academy has definitely boosted 
uh, Sophia's confidence by 86 to 95 percent. This is from uh, Melissa. Sophia is still our current student right now. Have been following us for the past about I think eight months, right? Okay. So now the next one is power fire. All right, power fire. A lot of stage time. Maybe six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Or used to represent the school. A very great speaker. No problem with going up on stage. So what is next for this power fire students or kids? Okay, power fire, number one, be humble, all right? Really, really have to be humble. This is also a learning curve in character building. If a child feels that, like, oh, I'm already up there, I'm already up there and nothing for me more to learn, that is where you have to put them and back on ground and be grounded. Okay, always aim for the sky, but you have to be grounded. So be humble. This is the time where you can actually teach character building for a child, right? Be humble because the power fire people also started from please start now quadrant and they slowly move to that power fire quadrant. So teach them to be humble. Okay. And then ask them to start to write own script. That means writing a script from zero, writing a script from zero, an empty piece of paper, writing script from zero. Not easy, not easy. I've competed in a lot of competitions for many years. Writing a script from empty piece of paper, zero, is not easy. Okay, so challenge them to write their own scripts. Okay, if you have any questions you want to ask, please feel free to drop in the comment box over there, all right? If you have any questions you want to ask regarding speaking on stage, speaking online, or even running a business, entrepreneurship, please feel free to drop into the comment box there, okay? And also do impromptu speeches. Now, do impromptu speeches means Power five people might be very good in prepared speech because they can take a speech and then once they see it, they can memorize with hands movement, facial expression, voice, okay, movements. But then sometimes they are not really familiar with impromptu speeches. Now, impromptu speeches are topics where they are given by judges, right? Or school teacher. Okay, the topic is example, huh? Uh, how do you reduce traffic jams in Kuala Lumpur? Then you have to be able to speak for two minutes, right? Or three minutes, depending on, on the, the timing. And then suddenly you're given a topic, you need to elaborate. So that is actually not easy because it really depends on depends on general knowledge, right? So do impromptu speeches. So how do you do it at home? Teacher, I'm not going for competition or your parents right now. Johan, we are not going for any competition. How do we do impromptu speeches? Okay, just go and grab a magazine or you can go and grab a newspaper. Okay, example yourself and then your child is in front of you. Flip the newspaper and then just point to a topic, the headline. Okay, example, Lee Chong Wei is going to retire. Then that is the topic. Okay, please try for one minute then your child have to speak for one minute. And then after your child speaks, your turn to speak that same topic. Ah, you, it's like a, a fun activity at home. So any topic, you just grab a newspaper, grab a magazine, just flip, and then just point to a topic. Maybe your son now, is your son's turn to point, and then you speak, and then your turn to point on topic, and then he speaks or she speaks. So you just play this activity. It's really fun, okay? So you will also be learning at the same time. Okay. All right. If you are getting, if you are learning something over here, can you give me a comment number three? Put in the comment number three. If you are learning something, put in the comment over there, number three, number three, so that I know that you are inside here and also still following. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Okay, put in the comment there, number three. 
If you have any questions, feel free to drop your comment, your questions in the comment box there. All right. Okay, I have one question over here. Any class on script writing from Johan Speaking Academy? Any class on script writing from Johan Speaking Academy? That is Kasturi over there. Kasturi, right now we don't have script writing class. We do not have script writing class, but it's a very good question over there. We might consider that in the future, all right? Script writing class. So we have covered the four quadrants, what you as a parent can do, right? That four quadrant, try before, move it up, power fire, and the starting one, okay? So these are the four quadrants you can identify and take action immediately at home to do it. Okay, and then power fire, go to bigger stage, all right? Go to bigger stage. Of course, by going to bigger stage, you have to go through the process of competing, right? Competing from example in school, from scholar to and then uh the era and then uh negri. So it's like from area division to district kind of uh, so the stage will become bigger and bigger. Okay, this is a parent's testimony. TNU has been following us for two years so recently we are stuck at home so we do sessions on zoom all right this is kathy over here was having show until session via zoom this morning thank you john speaking academy for hosting this okay so how now can my child really speak after this can my child really speak after this that is the question you might be asking hey, Johan, you are just actually telling us, but not really can or not, if my child can really speak after this. Do you have that question in your mind right now? So how now? Can my child speak after this? So we have a kids public speaking online training. All right. Online training is open for 17 packs only. All right. This is for the please start now if you are in the beginner quadrant all right this is for a beginner quadrant please share this right now if you can click share share it to your post right now we are having a kids public speaking online training for 17 packs only okay this training is of course using zoom all right training using zoom absolutely free all right absolutely free but i can only in 17 packs only okay 17 packs only if you feel that any of your friends need this kindly tag your friend in the comment box over here tag your friend this 17 packs is for that please start now quadrant only for kids who have never done a single speech or it is their first time okay this is a zoom training it's going to be free for 17 packs only Personally, I will be the person conducting this training for the Please Start Now quadrant, right? So if you think it's a very great deal, can you put in the comment number five, type in the comment number five there, number five at the comment. And if you feel that, hey, my friend or my, my friend or my nieces or nephew need, over, need this, kindly tag their parents. It's only for 17 packs, absolutely free, okay? So this Zoom training will be on the 19th April for one hour. Okay, 19th April, Zoom online training this Sunday, 19th April, one hour session. Okay. Absolutely free, okay? 19th April. So, your child okay to do their first introduction speech so after 19 april we're going to have a seven day challenge i have to work very closely with you all right and of course your child for that matter and inside seven days they have to do their first introduction speech all right we have to 
end this challenge before 28th of April, which is when the MCO is lifted. Okay, praying hard for that. But your child have to be able to do their first introduction speech by 28th April, all right? So this is for the please start now quadrant. Please start now quadrant. Please start now quadrant, all right? If your child say, oh, I'm, I'm in a move it up quadrant. I'm in the power fire. So sorry, this is maybe too basic for you. But this is for that. Please start now quadrant, all right? We have to work very closely together, huh, parents, okay? Seven day challenge. First introduction speech, their first ever speech. Okay. Oh, Amanda, Leon, how to enroll over here? Okay. So go and scan right now. If you scan this uh, QR code, it will bring you to a Zoom registration page. All right. You can scan now and register. I will only take in 17, 17 kids. All right. 17 kids this Sunday in 11 a.m. All right. This Sunday in 11 a.m. Right. This is for the Please Start Now quadrant. So you can scan this and register your your child's name. This you once you scan, it will bring you to the Zoom registration page, right? Okay. So if you feel that your nieces, nephew, or your friends' children need this, please share this with them, right? We'll take in only seventeen kids. We'll train them for one hour, and then that seven day challenge. I will update you, parents. What do you need to do? Because we need to work very closely together so that they can do their first introduction speech. Okay. So scan that QR code and then they ask, hey, Johan, is it really free? Uh? Sure not. Is it really free? Uh? Of course it is free. But of course, I say when I say but, it's actually not free. Uh. Why? Why is that so? Because I need your time. The most important is your time. Right? Your time and your child's time. That itself is already something very valuable. All right. Okay. I do not charge anything. I do not take anything, but I need your time and also your child's time. All right. So if you're registr registering, I need your time and your child's time. And then, of course, I need you to film your child. Send us the recorded video of your child's first introduction speech. And then also give us feedback later on how we can improve and serve you better. Because I believe a lot of businesses are moving into online. I mean, we have done this last year and I believe we can still improve a lot more. Give us some feedback so that we also will learn from yourself. Right? How can we improve? And then Give us a testimony if you feel that we have done a good job. Okay, so is it really free? I need your time and your child's time. And then, of course, to record that video and then give us feedback on how we can um, improve and also give us a testimony if you feel that we have done a good job. All right, so we have to work very closely together. I'm taking only 17 kids for this Sunday, Zoom training for one hour. Okay. Scan the QR code over there for you to register. Please share this out if you feel that your friends or your nephew or nieces, your colleague's child needs to, their child needs to do their first introduction speech and get a, get a glimpse into the world of speaking. Then please scan that QR code over there. If you feel you're getting value for the past one hour, 15, 20 minutes, can you give me a thumbs up over there at the comment box? Give me a thumbs up. Thank you, thank you. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for your support. Go and scan that QR code, register yourself. That registration will go to a Zoom, Zoom registration page. Any questions you would like to ask? The session is going to end very soon. Any question you want to ask, feel free to do so. Okay, the seven day challenge is for people or for kids 
who have never stepped foot on the stage. They are in the Please Start Now quadrant. If you know of anyone who needs this, share with them this QR code or tag them right now. And you just tag them. I can actually inform them or you can share out this page too. Scan the QR code or you can register for them too. It is absolutely no cost on your part, just your time and your child's time. All right. This Sunday on the 17, 17, oh sorry, 19, 19 this Sunday at 11 a.m. Right? 11 a.m. It'll be about one hour. Right? I just need your time and your child's time. So you can contact us, drop us an email at johanspeakingacademy at gmail.com. Also help us to to like our Facebook page at Johan Speaking Academy and also Kids Public Speaking. Okay, can drop us an email with regards to Kids Public Speaking a children's program, education program at Johan Speaking Academy at gmail.com. Let me let me unshare my screen first. Huh? Just a moment. Okay, any questions? I'll take in questions for the next two to five minutes before we end this session. Any question? Thank you, Rizan. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Celine. Thank you, Lee Chen. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you. Okay. It's been a great pleasure. It has been a very great pleasure sharing with you on the four quadrants and feel free to implement those steps immediately. You can do it at home. Of course, you have time right now during the MTO. Or maybe parents say, Johanna, where got time? I need to clean the house. I need to cook. I need to do e-learning with them. I also need to work. All right, understand. But yeah, try to spend time and practice speaking at home with your child. And I can tell you, this skill, once you can have that skill and master it, you can bring it all the way throughout your life and your career. It will really, really help you. Okay, it will really, really help you. Okay, so I think that is about it. Thank you so much, everyone, for your time. Please like our Facebook page, all right, at Johan Speaking Academy. And also, we have one more page over here. Wait, huh? okay, like us on our Facebook, Kids Public Speaking. We have two fan pages over there. And help us to share out too. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. Have a great evening. Thank you so much for your time for the past one and a half hours. I'm really glad to have you as the audience. Thank you so much and have a great day and bye.